Well, it's now time for the Hell on Earth match, a six-man tag team match, no disqualification, everybody in the ring at once. And we're about to see the entrance of the first team, a very unique team, as we have the clinic and the UWA yeah. Intercontinental Champion, the Crimson Prince Michael Hammerstein, Crimson but along the with them, and we have the kid. Yeah. well you just heard it, along with them is the kid, uh, the clinic and the Crimson Prince now calling themselves yeah, the Crimson Prince. we're going to win the Hell on Earth match and decide the main event for the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship. You tell them, Crimson. Hell on Earth. Welcome to Hell. Tell him, kid. You notice his dumbass had the belt upside down, right? He sure did. I thought so. Hey, you're on our side. Well, the clinic uh, trying to get the border. Well, in case you didn't hear it, the clinic said the kid for one day is being inducted into royalty. The clinic calling himself the king, and of course we have the Crimson Prince. And now, king. apparently for one we day, the, the kid. The well, the clinic just called the kid the jester. I'm not sure the kid would agree with that. Uh, he's certainly known for joking around, but at the same time, he is no joke. And it looks like the opposing team is coming out to Lawrence Alfred's theme music in tribute to him. This team was originally supposed to contain Lawrence Alfred, but he was fired at the beginning of the show by the clinic. So coming out, we have the MSW World Heavyweight Champion, Derek Knight. And teaming with them are the MSW World Tag Team Champions, UWA X Division Champion, Drake Carnage, who is also the MSW World Television Champion, and the UWA World Heavyweight Champion, The Advocate. A lot of championship gold on the side of Derek Knight, Drake Carnage, and The Advocate. In fact, every reigning champion is on that team except for the UWA Intercontinental Champion, the Crimson Prince. The GWA oh, World Backyard Wrestling Championship is vacant. Uh, winners decide the main event. Clinical depression by the clinic. Well, the clinic, uh... The Clinic and the Crimson Prince both go in for some early bombs on Drake Carnage and the Advocate. And now we have the kid and Derek Knight. The kid just talking with Derek Knight. Take him uh, what's going on here? What? You heard me. Take him out. Or you're fired. Well, there's not really much more to say about that. The Clinic ordering the kid to take out Derek Knight. The kid and Derek Knight fighting it out, but this is really a, a different scenario than we saw in that six-pack challenge due to the uh, uh, what led to this. The clinic ordering the kid to do it. This is not really in the spirit of competition, but in the spirit of the kid not getting fired. Whoa, that running Where's knee, that punch to Derek Knight. Where's your hero now? Where's your champion now? Off to the hospital. Well, it looks like Derek Knight is severely injured. He's going to have to be taken out of this match. Yeah. He's actually now being taken really uh, to the back. It looks like he may be taken to a local medical facility. So oh, it looks like we have a three-on-two match the here. Way ambulance for Derek Knight. Maybe now he'll know what he wants, which is to live after that beatdown. Well, the clinic was some very disrespectful comments to Derek Knight, enraging the kid, but the kid can't do anything about it. The kid must be on the same page as the clinic and the Crimson Prince in this match. Because the clinic is really uh, just a dictator. He's running the show uh, completely. The kid trying to leave this match, but the clinic uh, looks like he's telling him to come back in. The clinic really bossing around the kid. Drake Carnage and the Advocate now finally back up after uh, the clinic and the Crimson Prince both hit their finishers on them. And now we have a standoff here. Three on two. Not very good odds for Drake Carnage and the Advocate here. The kid really has no choice but to follow the clinic's orders in this match. The Crimson Prince is a willing follower of the clinic. The kid taking, uh, taking out the advocate. Not sure what the clinic and the Crimson Prince are going to go. Whoa. The clinic dodged out of an attempted shot by the advocate. Some kicks and clubbing blows from uh, the clinic. 
Straight Carnage with the Bulldog on the Crimson Prince. Whoa, the clinic bringing out the weapons. Hit, hit the Advocate with the belt, trying to hit him with the second one, but the Advocate fought back. Big suplex by Derek Knight, uh, excuse me, by the Kid on the Advocate. This action is so hard to call. The Crimson uh, Prince using the title belt. We have the clinic uh, applying a submission hold while the kid, uh, never th we never thought we'd see the day when the kid and the clinic were working together like this. The Crimson Prince uh, went for his finish of the twist of fate again, but the advocate uh, countered it. And the advocate with a short pedigree there. Now we have Drake Carnage and the clinic fighting it out. They fought it out one-on-one -on -one at Starcade, but this is no one-on-one -on -one situation. This is no fair, fair fight. Nothing fair about this. This is just hell on earth, complete chaos. And now we have Drake Carnage beating on the kid. And the clinic making the save for the kid. Again, something you never thought you would see. The advocate making the save, uh, taking out the clinic. And a big boot to the butt. That's about all you can call it. The advocate went for a spin kick. The clinic got out of it and now delivers some elbows to the advocate. And now the Clint, uh, Crimson Prince is going to take a turn. While the kid just hit a big move on, I believe that was Drake Carnage. Now the Crimson Prince hit that twist of fate on the advocate. The clinic looks like he's just uh, supervising. Big spear by the Crimson Prince. One, two. Three, two count. Oh, two count only. That was only a two count for the Crimson Prince. His shoulder was up. Drake Carnage suplexed over the kid. Now the clinic finally getting back in this match with a stomp to Drake Carnage. Another big spear from the Crimson One. Prince on the advocate. One count. Drake Carnage breaks up the count. The clinic running in with a quick stomp on the advocate and then back the out. Way. Whoa, the clinic There's ordering some fans to get out the way. The clinic is now going up on that uh, trampoline, serving as a top rope. Wobbly knees. What's he going Wobbly for knees. here? A big double axe handle to the back of the advocate. But Drake Carnage stopped them before he was able to capitalize. Now oh, uh, the okay, kid yo. putting the boots to the advocate. Remember, the kid is an unwilling partner of the clinic and the Crimson Prince. Front face lock by the kid. Looks like he's going for a suplex, but the advocate uh, shifted his weight and blocked it while Drake Carnage has a cross arm breaker on the Crimson Prince. The kid turned that suplex into a gut buster, and now uh, another big move by the kid there. The clinic just ramming Drake Carnage's arm into the fence, and the kid gets the pin. Wow, the kid got the pin on the advocate there after a series of moves there. And the kid got the win for his team, right. even though they're partners that he didn't want to team with. It is the kid that got the win for that team. And apparently now the clinic will decide the main event for the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship here at Inaugural Brawl. Carries the team. I carry the team. Fuck them. Well, the action to Hell on Earth is not ending right here. We're seeing a brawl in the ring right here between the Advocate, the Crimson Prince, and the Clinic making the save for the Crimson Prince. Now a double team. Now Drake Carnage gets back in the action. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there's straight chaos in the ring. Catalyst and whatever the hell Clinic and Crimson Prince's tag team name is. Straight brawling in the ring. It's all chaos. Nobody knows what's going on. Kid got the pin. Kid hit him with that modified suplex cutter. Wait, wait, wait. Oh shit. You two need to get out the ring right now because it's time for the main event. You heard and me. Crimson's leaving the ring. What the fuck? Go this way. You yeah. And... Carnage and Africa leaving, clinics in the ring, talking about making the main event. What's going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, shortly we will see the main event of GWA Inaugural Brawl 2011. A main event worthy 
of being the main event of an inaugural brawl. But first, Crimson, why don't you tell us a little bit about what happened to Drake Carnage and the Advocate? Oh, and of course, Derek Knight. They forgot what hell on earth looks like, and they found hell on earth. We beat down Catalyst and the so-called still champion, Derek Knight. We are the Crimson Depression. A little hip hop thank you to the kid. If you're out there, my, my royal subject, thank you. I don't know where the clinic went, but he'll be back shortly. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, clinic. Clinic disappears and makes his way back to the Congratulations. ring. What the? F but now, it is time for the main event to be revealed. And you see, we're not going to have a match as the main event. I never said we were going to have a match if, or should I say when, we won. Here's what's going to happen. We are going to have a coronation ceremony for the new GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. A what? man who is truly deserving of the title. Uh, a man who has been screwed out of it so many times at the hands of the tyrant and the dictator, Lawrence Alfred. And now this man will finally get his chance to show that he is the top man in the entire history of the GWA. The most deserving GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion in history will be crowned momentarily. And my assistant, the Crimson Prince, will be here to help with the coronation ceremony. This will be a fantastic honor for the wrestling world to witness as the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion, the rightful champion, finally takes his place in the Hall of Heroes. The history of the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship will finally contain the name of the one individual more deserving of it than anybody in its history. <laughs> More deserving than Lawrence, more deserving than the kid, than Mark Preeby, than Playboy Buddy Rose. The man that is most deserving of this honor, would you introduce him, Crimson Prince? Ladies and gentlemen, the clinic. Yeah. The new GWA World Backyard Wrestling. Yeah. Fan. I personally cannot believe what I'm witnessing right now. After firing Lawrence Alfred, yeah. he wants to claim himself as the GWA champion. This is sickening. This is a slap in the face to every backyard wrestler that has worked their asses off, fought from the bottom to the top, and this tall son of a bitch just gets it handed to him on a silver platter. Somebody yeah. tell me what the fuck this world is coming to. The GWA. World Backyard Wrestling. Oh, of course he puts his robe on too. I am the king of Backyard Wrestling. And here comes Crimson Prince just bowing Crimson down. Prince, I hereby knight you. Sir ah! Crimson Prince. Yeah. I am, I am absolutely really sick. Can I you here, please? I am yeah. absolutely sickened. Bring his belt in here. Absolutely sickened by this. royal celebration. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. The Prince and the king. I am the man. I'm arrived. Nobody can stop me. There's not a man alive who can come and take my title. I can't There's believe There's not a man alive who can come ruin this celebration. This is for the greatest wrestler in the This is making What the f I hear music? Whose music is that? What? Just just random music guy, come on. Sound guy, a sound guy must have gotten something wrong here. Yeah. Not entirely sure what's going on. Music's playing. Is this some kind of joke or something? Come on, come on. What's going on here? This is my show. Wait a second. That's Catalyst? Drake, Carnage, and the Advocate? Wait, what's this? They're posing, pointing out what's going on here. It's Lawrence Alfred! Lawrence Alfred is retired! Oh, he looks pissed. He looks ready to go. But he was just fired. What's going on here? Somebody's got a hand in this. Something's going down here. 
Catalyst making their way. Um, Prince and King looking like homo, Get not knowing out. what to do. Get out! He's back. Uh oh. Security, security, security. It's about uh oh. Something's about to go down, Prince ladies and gentlemen. Call Redder. Call Redder. Redder delivered. Come on. Wait a second. Come on. Yo. Oh. Come on. What's what's up here? Got Lawrence in Eternal Darkness, the bodyguard. Security has surrounded the yard. They surrounded the building to make sure that I get across what it is that I have to get across. What? That security is working for me. Right. And wrong. You see, the fact of the matter is this. You forget, I have friends in higher places, like the board. What? You what? Know, that thing that I've been the chairman of forever and a day. What? Which reviewed everything and pretty much said that I didn't purposely break the rules. I had no way of knowing that perhaps you might have been Sir Buffkins. What? Or that I hit you. He still assaulted somebody. That doesn't make a difference. Just like today, you insulted every person. You screwed this man out of the Intercontinental Championship. You tried to screw Derek Knight again. You forced the kid to do some things that he couldn't do, which on a technicality means you abused your power. What? I did not abuse anything. So the board I had a vote. abuse you. And the board decided that there needed to be a new chairman. Because, yes, I was fired as chairman, but no one reinstated you as chairman. Nobody voted for that. What? So they voted on a new chairman, a new chairman of the board. What? The new chairman of the board that will replace Lawrence Alfred is me. What? Oh! 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 Let's go with and the first act as chairman, after consulting the board, is... I am reinstated. Oh, he's back in the building. Which means, sir, I'm the chairman again. Now, the, the problem is this clinic. Yes. For years, you've been trying to take me out, and you've been wanting me gone. Well, yeah, well, look who started it. You, way back at the Big Bang. Or, really, did I start it? Yeah. Or really, did I start it? Or is it, or, or, or is it the fact that, if you look at the history, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. Stay back. Stay back. Hey, you're boss. That made sure you've even been successful. Let's go back to November 17th, 2001. Yeah. On November 17th, 2001. Yeah. The Big Bang. It was the Big Bang. But let's recall what really happened. Let's recall that I wasn't even supposed to be a part of that show. Let's recall that your wrestlers didn't want to show up. Oh, really? Let's recall who you made a phone call to. You made a phone call to me. Yeah, and I regret and it a every good day. friend that I was, high school buddies, might I say, a good friend that I was came and I bought my EWF with me. I bought the championship. That little rinky dink situation. That little ghetto federation that you called the EWF? Oh, okay. We took it over. We took it over? We took it over? Or was it the fact that I allowed it to happen? It was I who saved MSW every time it was going to fall. It was I, clinic. Really? Okay. It was I. It was also I at the first Starcade we've ever done that took back my EWF title. Keep in mind, if my rinky-dink organization was so rinky-dink, how come when my EWF title was on your show, it overshadowed the MSW what? Championship? You know what, in I was fact, in let's matches. talk about history. Let's talk about real history. Okay. That, well, it's not here. The MSW Championship originally was, the belt itself, the EWF title. Okay, yeah. so? So? So let's I talk here. Shut up. Us. Shut up. What? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm talking. What? And let's get down to real history. Okay. You started it. Because of your ego. 
My ego. We all say I have the ego. Let's talk about your ego. Oh, really? The, the, the day I walked in to MSW, remember, even you said I was the thing that was going to change backyard wrestling forever, and I did. But even you made the biggest mistake. I came in, and this is what he did. As a favor to help your company grow, you go, I have to put the EWF championship on the line in the first show. Hey, you really because you wanted the belt. You know, he didn't want to do it in a straight up match. He wanted to put the belt on a pole. That was threat number one. What? You challenge me for something that I made famous, and you haven't even proven yourself at that time. So you made the first threat. Oh, really? So therefore, something sweet happened. Kung Fu Jack took you out and gave you your low point. And here we are, almost 10 years later, Clinic. Yeah, we are. And you're going to call yourself the GWA champion. I'm happy you have the belt. Because all you did was pissed me off. Oh, really? Oh, the great Lawrence is pissed off. Because again. all it showed me is, for the last 10 years, there is not room in this company for the both of us. You want me gone? You want me gone? Yeah, I want you Don't find some stupid technicality to get me going. Stupid? Yeah, take me out. Oh! Mm. Well, let me tell you something. You know, a couple years ago, we had a highly anticipated match, the Iron Man match. And you know what you proved in that match? What? Way back at Star K25 Clash of the Champions, that you can't out-wrestle me. In that match, all you did was slap me the whole time. You know what? I, I can do that a whole lot more, too. You need to learn to wrestle. What? Because what? you are the most oh, no, overrated is. person in the history of this company. What? Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. That's the rest of the Arm bar. Arm bar. Whatever it is. Another I am who I am. I am who I am. But who in the hell are you? Arm bar. To come and talk to me. STF. About me being overrated. Oh, excuse me. You're the GWA champion, and you didn't even earn the belt. Oh! oh. First match. Ooh, we are? Yeah, and I won my first title going through ten individuals. Well, actually, nine. Well, those must have been some crappy individuals. You were one of them. Ah! Oh! 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 You're right! Oh! oh you fucked up! Oh! That's when I checked at that match, at the original Hell on Earth, by the way. You didn't even get any uh, offense or defense or anything what? in that match. No offense. 3.2 <laughs> three, 3. seconds. Well, you know what? 3.2 seconds. Let me tell you something. Not what? even a minute, man. You remember the big bang, huh? You remember bang. going through that glass door. You remember how you almost <laughs> it? And like, quite frankly, I wish you had. Okay. Oh, that's, that's another thing. That's a low blow. Because you what? threatened me. You threatened me so much. I, I had to hire you. somebody to take you out. <laughs> I threatened you. I thread you after you tried to challenge me for the EWF title. By yeah, the way, at the time, the only backyard wrestling fan that was probably existing down in the South. I challenge you to a wrestling match. How is that a threat? But you see, because everything is a threat. Anytime you uh, question or want to go after the champion, especially for a belt that wasn't even part of your show, you know. Right. Everything is part of the cult of Lawrence. Right. You know why? Because the real king, like the real king around here is me. Oh! Oh, really? Mm. Oh! You're right. Mm. So you're the king. I say I'm the king. You know what happens when we need to make a king? We play checkers. King war. We have a war. Uh-oh. Well, you know... And I, I just patterned through the history, your history, not mine. And not counting the XWF, not counting the UWA, not counting the AWE, not counting all the other players that have been involved even in Las Vegas, and not counting, all the, not counting all the little side matches, do you realize that this actual show, like I said, not counting the UWA and XWF show, just straight up MSW, huh? and not counting all the little side matches we Okay, get, give it the yeah, point. Yeah, it's show number 49. Uh-oh. 
which means the next show is a UWA show. That doesn't count in the number. Which makes Mid-South Mania show number 50. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What better of a place for me to dominate you and finally prove myself the true man in MSW and the GW? That's exactly what I want you to try to do at that show. So you know... What? I just mentioned that little 60 minute iron man. Yes, right. Where you proved you can't wrestle. Where all you did was slap, 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 slap. Spit, slap, spit, slap. spit, 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 spit. I don't have long hair. Shut up. Because let me tell you something. I will free everybody from your tyranny once and for all. Let's mm -hmm. have a 60 minute iron mm -hmm. match with everything on the line. Um, my GWA world. My GWA world 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 back world 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 Mine, not yours. Okay. okay. My GWA presidential position, your GWA chairman okay. position, my ownership of MSW. The winner is the man in backyard wrestling, and the loser starts from the bottom. And of the, the winner will be Me. the real king. Exactly. Which I already announced that's that first star game he did that I was the king. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I'll allow it. Well, let me tell you something, Lawrence. You think you are the real king. All you are is a paper crown. And we will prove that at Mid-South Mania. I will take your broken down old horse to the limit. If I'm that much of a threat, Clay, if I'm just a paper crown, why am I so much of a threat to you? Oh! You're not. And I will prove it. I, I call bullshit on that man, one. If I'm not that much of a threat, you should have took me out nine years ago. Oh! Ooh. Oh, really? Well, you know what? Maybe, bitch. Just Hello? maybe I'll let you live the torture. Really? What? Maybe I told Rhetoric to not throw you so clinic, hard. Clinic, 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 shut up. Whoa! Oh, you little bitch! And there's a show. You come out here, Rhetoric, 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 whatever the hell his name is, glass door, the dude I haven't bothered to show up since. You keep talking all that stuff about taking me out, breaking down old horse, you know, shoot me or whatever the heck you think you're going to do, and you haven't done a darn thing yet. Oh! I thought y'all spotted me today. Really? But you know, you shut up. Oh, you're you stupid. Man match. 60 minutes, everything on the line. Finally, I get to rid the world of Sir Buffkins. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh shit, do it. Sir Buffkins? Let yeah. Let me explain, sir. I like looking at history, so I decided to go and take a trip, you know, to a new world. And I was looking at birth certificates and there's no person, you know. Oh. Yeah. Buddy. Uh-oh. Buddy. It all goes back to the day before Stargate, the first one we've done. Even you said that you were drunk. I remember that show when you claimed to be drunk. You know why? Because... That so in other words, were you drunk? Or is it Sir Bufkins? It was Bufkins, idiot. But you said you were drunk. I lied. We have it on footage. Buff oh! I got it on whole video! You know why? Because... <laughs> because what, don't hold my hand. You're Sir Bufkins. No, I'm not. <laughs> you're Sir Bufkins. <laughs> you know... Ew! You're first. It's just funny. When your hair is short, his hair is short. When, when his teeth are missing? busted open at Helen Earth in 2008, he had an accident with his mascara. Well, you know what? I'm not Sir Buskins, but at Mid-South Mania, I will rape you or your dignity. Oh! Ooh. Oh! It finally comes out. He always wanted some of this. What? Oh. Some chocolate loving! Some chocolate loving sexual chocolate! Come on, let's do this! Come on! Oh, God. Uh oh! Ring the bell! Oh! Oh! They're about to kick his ass! <laughs> And finally, the match we thought would never come. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Lawrence has made a spectacular return. I think I'm, uh, I hate to say it, but he just verbally, scared now, man. Verbally, he uh, verbally uh, raped the shit out of Clinic. I'm, I'm just going to go on record don't and be say scared, it. Clinic. clinic or Buffkins? It really depends on that, how he's... That's doesn't really, oh, th yeah, that's... that's uh, it's, it's, it's not time yet. This is not Mid-South Mania. Look, okay. Boo! He's running it's like a little bitch. It's raining men. Oh, what a little it's whore. Like, yeah, it's raining men. See, no I think it's safe to Lawrence. say that the buff was never back. It's, he never let's left. Let's have no. a match right now. Let's have a little warm-up match for you since you need one. You're such a broken down old horse. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The bell's wrong, dude. You're out of the, the ring. The bell has been rung. He's calling in Crimson Prince. Why oh, he would. Come in. Oh, no, Clinic would call in his little man bitch. I get a shot at that? No. Oh. There's already been an Intercontinental title match. It doesn't need to be another one. It should be four. So what? Uh, Crimson Prince, this is the opportunity of your career. 
one on one. Lawrence has been just spearing you. Lawrence has been interfering in everything over the past few months, and now you have your chance at one on one. One on one. Ring the bell. Spear! 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 One, two, three! Crimson Prince looking like a joke. Crimson Prince looking like a joke, bitch. Ow! Oh. Oh. <laughs> UWA is the next show, buddy. Uh -oh. Spear! Spear! And evidently, you're gonna say this was unfair. So I tell you what's gonna happen. What? What? Come on. At the next show, yeah. I will meet this sucker one on one again. Uh oh! And as far as you're concerned. I got surprises just for you. Oh, really? oh, 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 oh. Play the music. Crimson Prince looking like a joke, bitch. I think he just got his ass kicked in like two seconds. And bye bye. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait. Oh, there goes Clinic, of course. Chasing his ass out the ring. And you're two second match winner. See, I oh. killed your music. Resurrection! Uh oh! Ooh, ooh. Oh! Oh, it carries over! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute now, you just attacked me! You were technically in a match! You are in a match, you called it. No run. Yeah, wait, that was yeah. actually wait. Wait. Yeah. No. Oh, that's the other stipulation. Yeah. What? The new contract is for you to know about it, so technically I got a, I got a new contract. What? Ah! You stupid ass. Ah! You can't touch me until Mid South Mania. Oh! oh! You stupid. Well, what gave you the right to touch me? The fact that the new contract was made and you didn't know about it. Ah! Oh! Get right! Get right! Whoa, whoa, there. Yeah, it's a bucket's right. So you can touch me? Oh, no. Now I can. Now it's official. Anyways. I have to I have to Music, please. Music now! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you have it. Lawrence Alfred has made his return. Oh! And he's got the Intercontinental Championship. Trey, this is in the ring. Oh! Hoisting him up. Hoisting him up, there's Trey Cartage. It's not your time. There's the advocate. Catalyst. <laughs> Eternal darkness. Oh, he throws the belt. Ah! <coughs> Mid South Main. He's bowing to me. He's bowing. He's bowing like a little bitch. <coughs> do we have to clear the way? Don't worry, I'll clear the way. I'll clear the way. Clinic and Crimson just. Wobbling all over the place like a couple of drunk whores down the strip. On bourbon. On bourbon. Go. I'm the guy. Come on, Crimson. No. Another time. Next month. You. Next month. Oh, yeah. You just got ready. Yeah. Yeah. Take, yeah, take, your, little take your little dildo with you. Uh oh. Oh. He's chasing. Oh. Oh. They're yeah, running like a bunch of little scared bitches. Is that his bathrobe? Uh oh. Oh, he stole the bathroom! Light it on fire! Light it on fire! Oh, 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 no, never mind. Oh, <laughs> my bad. It's okay. Oh! Woo! Real king. The king! The king of the GWA has returned. Let's go. You threw the coat, or the bathrobe, or whatever it is.